What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a coolant drain and bleed in this 2007 BMW 335i. This applies to any N54 motor, whether it's like E90, E92, E93. This is probably a very similar process for a 328 or a 325i, so let's get into it. For our coolant mix today, we have some BMW Long Life Antifreeze along with some distilled water to mix it 50-50 with the BMW Concentrate and then some water wetter to make sure our temps stay low. A manual transmission 335i will need about 8.4 liters of coolant, meanwhile an automatic will need about 8.2 liters. First things first, take off the under tray which is held on with about 20 8mm fasteners. An electric tool is great for this. To get at the radiator, we have to take out the inner cooler which is held in by two T25 Torx fasteners. Then it's just the inner cooler piping. If you have a stock inner cooler, it will have the BMW retaining clip style. Mine is two band clamps on this Active Auto Work intercooler. Loosen off the clamps and work the piping apart. Be careful not to drop the intercooler on your face. Before you drain the coolant, open the reservoir to allow it to drain faster. This is the radiator drain. You want to turn the blue piece. If you don't have a large flat screwdriver, you can use pliers and a coin to rotate the blue plastic piece. If your coolant isn't pre-mixed, be careful to put in an equal ratio of water and concentrate. Now that we've got the reservoir as filled as we can get it, I'm going to show you how we bleed the system with this electric water pump. Alright, to activate the electric water pump, you got to get in the car, get your key in, and turn the car so it's on, and then hold down the throttle pedal for about 10 seconds. You'll hear the electric water pump kick on. There you go. You also want your heat turned to the max so that your heater core is wide open and that can bleed as well. Let's go check out the water pump. Yeah, you can hear it doing some things. You see? Now we keep filling it. You can hear the water pump humming away down below. It's gonna go on burbling like this for about 10 minutes. You don't necessarily need a funnel like I have holding water outside the reservoir but as long as you keep the reservoir topped up, it'll be good. It's a good idea to maybe just turn off your headlights and throw the car on a battery tender if you have a weak battery so you don't drain it. You'll know your coolant levels are happy by this diagram. My stick in my reservoir is a little bit broken off, but essentially there's a little floaty inside there, and if it floats all the way to the top, like this, you're at the max. And if it's floating down and you can like grab the stick and pull it up more, then you know it's not quite at the max. So. You always want it when you do a coolant thing to be near the max, just in case you have any air pockets. With the coolant all bled, it's time to put the intercooler back in. The intercooler is heavier than it looks. Work it into place in front of the fan without bending any of the fins of the intercooler, then slip the piping into place. Now with the intercooler back on and the cooling system bled, time to start the car. Get it warming up and check for leaks under the car. Turn it off, throw the under tray back on, and maybe check the coolant reservoir in the next day after driving it to make sure it's all good. Well, that's a wrap on the coolant flush and bleed on this E92 BMW 335i. I let it get up to temp, checked for leaks. I'm gonna throw the under tray on now. That's about 28 millimeter fasteners for you at home. Otherwise, a couple of precautions with this is you should never, ever, ever open a cooling system when it's hot. You should never, ever, ever drink antifreeze. Like I told you before in the bike video, you don't want to drink it. It's got ethylene glycol in it, which makes it smell sweet, but taste, well, it'll kill you if you drink enough. So don't do that. And yeah, I hope you guys appreciate the video. As always, thanks for watching. Please smash the like button, subscribe button down below. And as always, have a good day.